What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the My Favorite Things Challenge, which I was tagged in by my friend Caleb Liberty. Caleb is a fellow bookstagrammer, YouTuber, and contributor to the Fantasy Reviews. So why don't you go ahead and check out his channel and also check out Fantasy Reviews on the website and the podcast. So thanks for tagging me, Caleb. Let's get started! Also, I apologize that this video is a day late. Things happen. Question number one, what is your favorite musician slash band? Right out of the gate, this is a tough one. I was never like an emo kid, but I definitely did listen to emo kid music, which was a surprise to my friends since I was also a classical cellist. You know, it really is ever changing. I think my overall favorite band is Billy Talent. It always will be. My favorite song of all time is Oats in the Water by Ben Howard. And a song I'm currently obsessed with is Apricots by Finley. Go check that one out, it's a good one. What are your top three favorite films? I'm gonna assume that I'm not allowed to just say all three Lord of the Rings movies, extended editions, of course. Instead, I will include one of them. Two Towers is my favorite movie. And other two favorite movies would probably have to be Spirited Away and Treasure Planet. What is your favorite scent? Well, I am a candle person. One day I'll, maybe I'll do like a candle tour. I have over a hundred candles in my house. I have three different ones burning right now in different rooms. If I die in a fire, it is what it is. So when it comes to candles, my favorite scent is always like a cider or a cinnamon scent, very Christmassy, but year round. Other scents I love are things like baking bread, cooking onions. I despise sweet food scents though, meaning like vanilla, caramel, chocolate, I, I can't. Especially when it comes to candles, they give me a migraine, can't do it, no. What is your favorite Disney film? Uh, well, I already talked about it, whoops. It's Trash Planet. <laughs> I was not a Disney kid, which I know is a little strange, but I just, I was not. So I'm very behind on Disney movies and I am watching them slowly. My favorite Disney princess movie of the ones I've seen is probably, None of them? Oh god. What is your favorite season? Fall. I am a basic bitch. Deal with it. I love autumn. Fall. Every season has its merits, but fall has the most merits. What is your favorite seasonal drink? Uh, I guess it's eggnog or apple cider. Mm, I can't even think of anything else. My mind is blanking. It's not pumpkin spice lattes. I think they're great, but it's not like I don't go all out for them. What other seasonal drinks are there? Why was that the most difficult question so far? Do you have a favorite shirt or article of clothing? Ironically, I'm not wearing one right now, but I like to wear big oversized hoodies. That's my favorite thing to wear, and I wear them in most of my videos. You've seen my red Harvard one a lot. I have a Marvel one as well. Yeah, just big oversized hoodies. In my friend group, we all have our distinct styles and I am following that today. So whenever we talk about what I like to wear, it's always crop top and leggings or cropped oversized hoodie and leggings. Who is your favorite author? You already know the answer to that one. It's T. Kingfisher. Let me just rattle off a couple more though, which would be Michael Crichton, John Gwynn, Ava Reed, Alexis Henderson. I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but I'm a big fan of those guys. Do you have a favorite spot for reading or writing? Okay, so for reading, I tend to just read where I am. So in bed, I have a seat outside that I like to use when the weather is appropriate. And then when it comes to audiobooks, it's always on my drive to work. So, and I actually really enjoy that. For writing, I don't have a dedicated spot right now, which is not great. It used to be in this room, but my desk now homes a lot of books. So I don't really have a dedicated writing spot and I need to fix that. What is your favorite food or dessert? Favorite food, pasta. Favorite dessert, creme brulee. I'm also a big fan of sushi, but I'm allergic to fish. So it's vegetarian sushi, which is better than it sounds, okay? What is your favorite time of the day? I'm not a morning person, and yet my favorite time of the day is the morning. Whenever I am lucky enough to wake up refreshed in the morning, I love being up early. And I am not a night person. Basically, the answer is not nighttime. I'm the opposite of like literally everyone else I've ever met. Not a night person. I hate when the sun goes down, it makes me sad. <laughs> and I just go to bed. What's your favorite color? It's this. I love green. I'm wearing green right now. This is green. I love green. Especially sage or mint. <laughs> Who are your top three favorite YouTube channels? Okay, top two are pretty easy. It's Mr. Ballin, who talks about true crime and mysteries, strange, dark, mysterious, delivered in story format. Number two is Smosh. I don't know why 
but I just love Smosh. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's a little outdated, but like I just, I really enjoy Smosh. And last, I'm gonna say Critical Role. I don't know if that counts as a YouTube channel, but they have a YouTube channel and that's where I watch their stuff. So yeah, Critical Role. Here's a confession. I guess that's pretty obvious after I've just listed my top three YouTubers. I don't watch booktube channels. Like I, I do. I watch booktube channels that I'm friends with and I subscribe to almost everyone that subscribes to me because I like to support people. Um, and I watch a couple of booktubers to get an idea of like formatting and style and ideas, inspiration, but I don't sit down and watch booktube channels. Maybe I shouldn't have admitted that. What is your favorite musical or play? These questions are so random. Okay, my favorite, oh gosh, I have seen a lot of musicals and plays uh, in Toronto. I think my favorite is Billy Elliot. Um, the one I've seen the most though is probably The Lion King. Not to sound pretentious, but I'm actually more of an opera or ballet gal. <laughs> if I had to choose between going to see a musical or play versus going to a ballet, I would choose ballet. My favorite ballet is Giselle. Not that anyone asked. And my favorite opera is La Traviata. Not that anyone asked. What is your favorite place that you've visited? Easy. Sedona, Arizona. I did some awesome stuff. Awesome stuff while I was in Sedona. Checked several things off my bucket list. Did an off-road Jeep tour through the Buttes. Did a hot air balloon ride, which was so cool and terrifying in hindsight, but awesome at the time. Yeah, we crash landed in a lady's yard, but that's normal apparently. Went on a really cool train ride, had a lot of cactus margaritas, which I discovered is my favorite drink. Got engaged. And it was one of the last big family trips that I've been on. Oh hey, that was the last question. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you again to my friend Kayla Liberty for tagging me in this. I love doing YouTube challenges and Instagram challenges. The last question was actually who do you tag, but I don't know enough people to tag anyone. But if you are watching this video, consider yourself tagged. Go forth and complete this tag and then tag me so that I know who my friends are. Before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell icon so you know when I up upload, upload new videos. I upload three days a week. Goodbye.